presentation, um, the body language of the manager, definitely something I consider. Um, yeah, I've done 750 senior football matches now as manager, and I know that you're stood in the touchline and people are looking at you, um, how you're perceived by the press, by the supporters. Um, also, you know, what it feels like to be a player and your manager on the touchline, you know, you like, you know, like it or not, there is an element, there's a connection there between the team and the, and the manager. So I like to be engaged with the, with the team. 99.9% um, .9 of, the, of the time I will stand, I rarely sit in the dugout and I certainly won't go and sit in the, uh, in the dugout if we're losing. I want to be there with the players winning or losing. Um, it's really important to show the supporters, your bosses, people in the director's box, um, that you conduct yourself in a professional manner. Um, I've yet to be cautioned in all those games, so that's something I'm proud of. Um, but I'm a considered type of, of, of manager. You know, I don't jump and jump around very often and shout and scream because I'm deep in thought and you can't, you can't think too clearly when you're jumping around and screaming. So um, it's a criticism levelled against me by supporters. Sometimes I don't show enough passion, but far from, you know, that's far from the truth. The, the, the reality is I'm deep in thought and I want my side to win. I do have to remind myself sometimes not to cross my arms um, because that gives the, gives the impression that maybe I'm a bit aloof and, and, and detached from the proceedings, which I'm not. But again, I'm very, very aware of how I present. Um, I present on a match day in a professional manner. I, you know, I, I dress smartly. I, I, I want to, to come to work with my best foot forward. And I want the players to know that I'm with them. And it's match day, it's a battle. And I'm, and I'm ready to give my best game as well.